So we Brock Hampton, new single, 1998 Truman. I'm excited. Um, I'm always excited to listen to new Brock Hampton music because generally for the most part, I know I'm gonna get something that's very interesting. The only issue going into these singles so far has always been me not knowing if I'm gonna like XYZ. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about Brock Hampton singles. When it comes to their projects and their albums, I know I'm gonna have a good amount of songs off that joint that I'm gonna love. But when it comes to the singles, it's like, ah, I don't know if I'm gonna love this all the way through. It's like, it's a very weird listening experience because I don't know whether or not I'm gonna get something enjoyable. I can't confirm it. I know the hype for these guys is real. Um, I'm a part of the hype, but I, I expect a lot from these dudes because they've they impressed so much for the year 2017 with their saturation series. They really did. Scaring their entire fan base by saying the group may break up and then coming back to say we're gonna make a new album called Team Effort. Changing again by changing the album title to Puppy. I don't know if that's still gonna be the album title, but I'm trying to stay up to speed so that I'm not lost when this album comes out. I'm really excited, 1999 Campfire, I believe that's what that was called, or Wildfire actually. Um, that was a pretty good song, couple discrepancies here and there, but for the most part, it's solid. Now we got 1998 Truman, I don't know if that's a shout out to the movie with Ed Harris and Jim Carrey that was shot back in, I believe that was 97 though. Well, I mean it was shot in 97, probably came out in 98. Let's hear it. So you never have any real economic freedom, he wants you to buy everything you want, he advertises on TV. You're oh shit. You're shit. I think Joe was probably the most, uh, how do I say it? The most, you see, he always seems like he's rapping with a point to prove or, or not, not saying it like, oh, he's insecure about his standing. So he feels the need to prove himself. I just mean it like. He has a lot of built up, I feel like in a way, aggression and kind of like resentment towards the people that may have said that he may not amount to anything. He's always the one to give the most realistic or most relatable uh, lines when it comes to just the average person or when it comes to chasing your dream or something like that. Like with this, for instance, he's talking about how it's easier for these people to surround themselves around a young man trying to do something uh, a little bit more risky uh, than you know, settling down with a family and going the safe route, which is such a big, it's, it's such a, it's such a problem limiting the kids dreams because you didn't have the balls to go do it. Oh. Hold up, I didn't know Matt Champion was doing it like this. I didn't know he was doing it. I didn't know he was giving it up like this. I said in the last song I felt like he could give a different energy to the track and and right now he's doing it. Do you are you paying attention to his flow? Are you hearing this man? I see you. Noted. I had a listen. Listen. Till the prophets are risen. We mix them with Dini. Why they so solid and winny? I murdered this music with Tini. I never do see me. That beat is everything. This hook is so ugly though. I don't know, it kinda it kinda works. I don't know. Oh, bare face. That's that's what I'm talking about. I like that song. It was a lot to appreciate. Um, I, I I do I do think one of the bigger uh, reasons or likes about Brockhampton, at least for me, 
is even though their lyrics aren't like the most conceptual, they're not the deepest lines that I've heard from any, you know, rap group or anything out there. Um, and I won't even say rap group because that's not what they generally stick to. But I can say one of the things that's most enjoyable about listening to their music isn't the fact that they go the deepest out of anybody out there. I think it's more so the fact that you get the perspectives from each member. You get the perspectives from more than one individual. So it makes the listening experience a little bit more uh, rewarding, a little bit more poignant, I guess you could say, when you get more perspectives, even though all of them might not be the deepest now, one thing that I do like about this track particularly is like the 1998 Truman reference. Um, I think a lot of this has to do with, uh, you know, having somebody else have direct control over your life. In the movie, uh, Truman, uh, I, I believe one of his main things, like one of his main uh, challenges in the film was being aware of the fact that his life was being run by someone else, but having to make the decision like, Am I going to prevent this or am I going to be cool with it? And I guess that's kind of the perspective that they're speaking from in this song. Like all these people are telling me what I should, can and will be able to do. And am I OK with those assumptions? Am I OK with these people saying this or am I going to do something about it? Am I going to challenge it? Am I going to go against, you know, their their words uh, with action? So I think a lot of it uh, has to do with, you know, just them being you know outcasts again and them being chastised for being different or doing different than what's the safest option um very commendable um because brock hampton for the most part they used to from what i from what i understand for the most part they give more fun tracks their tracks aren't really centered around many ideas um that's why one of the bigger issues with their group for the most part will be people thinking that for the most part these guys are just a group of people that want to make music and have fun uh, so the substance uh, of their music doesn't really tie into anything grand or more uh, spectacular or bigger than themselves. But here I feel like this is a message many people can can get down with, whether you're an outcast or not. Just being told you can't do something is something I'm feeling. I feel like a lot of people can relate to. As far as the song itself, um, I like Matt's verse the best possibly because it comes in before i don't know one of these members i don't know one of them i just don't i like the i like the high tone in joba's voice i think that's what gets me okay I, I don't really know if it's anything other than that i just think the energy that he gives with his uh verses always get me into a into a more enjoyable spirit i guess you could say merlin i believe he's on the hook i don't know who else is on the hook with him the hook to me is a little ugly but it goes along with this weird sense of uh i don't know it's, it's like a it's like a psychedelic experience when you go into the hook because it's so much that it seems to be happening um and i believe i don't know who else is on that hook but when the other guy comes and he's like don't talk back boy and his voice is distorted i think that just adds to the, the the craziness that's going on in the hook in my opinion but yeah overall i i enjoyed this track the bare face ending uh was cool uh, i think it's a little what's the word predictable how bareface has been coming onto these tracks lately um you know kind of being the one that gives the most oldish boy band vibe um i get that's his shtick but i, I do want to see more in a way uh so hopefully this isn't all we get from bareface I, I love his vocals i just want him to come out of it a little bit more maybe deliver a track uh that isn't so boy bandy, if that makes any sense. I mean, they, they all come across in the same way, his performances, at least in my opinion. So I kind of want him to, you know, come out of it a little bit and maybe uh, give a performance over maybe a darker beat. Maybe it's, it's possible. You know, I want to I just want to see where they can go with it. Uh, but for the most part, I enjoyed the song. I'm uh, going to give it a couple more listens. Uh, not my favorite Brockhampton song, but I do see I do see it. I see I see the potential with this one. Are you enjoying the song? I enjoy it. So that's all it is. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. And I'm out. Peace.